This is an example of a TypeScript problem that I run into pretty frequently in my day-to-day -day work. We've got some simple types at the top, a member with an ID and a name, and then a team with a list of members and also a current member. The current member is gonna be whichever member is currently requesting this team. And then we have our get function here, which is kind of handling this member request. So we get a member ID and we return their team. You can think of this as like an API request. And so of course, from this member ID, we need to build up the team shape that we need to return. So we get a list of members, probably from a database. We try and find this member within that list. And then we have our shape here. But notice we have a type error. If we hover over it, we see that the problem is that member or undefined is not assignable to type member. So the problem here is that this member is not just of type member, it's of type member or undefined. And this makes sense from TypeScript's perspective, right? Because members is an array, when we're finding an item in an array, it's possible that there's no item in the list that matches what you're asking for. And so find has a return type of T or undefined, in our case, member or undefined. This is where there's a disconnect between what TypeScript knows about the system based on the current context it has in this function and what we know about the system because we have context of the entire application. And it's likely that in our application, there's some checks somewhere else, probably when you're creating a team or joining a team that says that if you are a member of a team, then you will be in the members list of the team. And so we know that this member is always gonna be in the members array. So how can we change this so that TypeScript can be aware of some of this context that we have? How can we bring these types closer into alignment with our own mental model of our entire application. I'm gonna show you two approaches, both of which kind of use the same technique. So the first approach is let's write our own find function. We're gonna call this function must find. Of course, it's gonna operate on some generic argument type T. We have the array, which is an array of T. And then we have the predicate, which is gonna take one of those T's and return a Boolean and then this function should return a type T. Let's use the standard array find first. And of course, if we return this item now, we run into the same problem that we just had before because item is T or undefined. And so the trick here is in between our find and our return, let's say if there's no item, we're gonna throw a new error saying item not found. Now throwing an error here changes the behavior of our system both at the type level and also at the runtime level. The type problem that we had is now solved because this function can only return type T. It can't return anything else because if it's not returning type T, it's throwing the error. That's the type solution. The runtime behavior that is changed here is of course, we're now throwing an error. Whenever we use this must find function here, essentially we're saying that we expect based on our knowledge of this whole system to find this element in this list. And if we don't, then something is wrong in the system beyond to just this array. If you're a member of this team, but you're not in the member list, then there's inconsistencies within the system that need to be solved. This this must find function gives us both the behavior we expect and also the strong types that we hope for. So let's actually give this a try. Const member equals must find. We'll pass it the members as the first array. And then we can do the same thing as our predicate here. And as you can see, this solves the problem. Member now just has the type of member and we can assign it to current member, no problem. There's another interesting way to solve this problem and that involves getter functions. A getter function, not a feature of TypeScript, but a feature of JavaScript is the idea that we can bind a function to a property on an object. And then when we access that property, we're actually calling the function. So the syntax here is I can say get space current member. And then instead of an assignment here, we're going to actually have a function. So I'm going to move my member find down into this function here. And we can say, if we do find a member, let's go ahead and return that member. Otherwise, we can throw a new error here. So notice again, our type error is now solved. If I hover over current member here, we can see that even though this is a function in our code, because it's a getter function, it will be treated like a property. We can access it as a property, current member, and the type of that property is member. So this is really just a quick tip on how you can use errors like this to improve both the runtime behavior of your system and also the types within your system. TypeScript is, in my experience, a big help when it comes to navigating complex code bases. And knowing tools like this can help TypeScript help you in even more ways. One last thing before I go, this video actually marks the one year anniversary of me posting weekly videos to this channel. I feel like I'm just getting started, but thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. If you have ideas for future videos, I would love to hear about those in the comments. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.